Hello and welcome to Vavork. I'm Brian Watrous and this is part 33 in a 10-part video series in which we're learning how to automate using VMware VRise Orchestrator. In this particular video and the next two, we're going to be taking a look at a super useful tool called the API Explorer. So let's get started. So what is the API Explorer? Well, the API Explorer is an incredibly useful tool that documents every single object that's defined by Orchestrator uh, and the plugins that you install. In addition to documenting every object, it documents every property of each of those objects, every method of each of those objects, and additionally, uh, besides just documenting all the objects, it also documents every single action. Again, those are actions that VMware creates or the plugin supply, or even the actions that you create are automatically documented. The API Explorer is available to you in three different places. Uh, let me show you the first two here. So one of them is in the workflow editor. The second one's in the actions editor. In case you're not familiar with those, we'll go over here to the Bureau client. I'll show you exactly where both of those are. So if I'm looking at workflows and I select a workflow such as this one here, when I'm in the workflow editor, let me edit this workflow. When I'm in the workflow editor, if I go to the schema, and I'm editing an element such as this scriptable task or any other element that involves um, JavaScript code. If I select that element down below, in this section here, we see the actual code that makes up this scriptable task. But over here on the left side, you see the API Explorer. So this is one place where you can see the API Explorer. Let me uh, quit out of here and I'll show you the second one I mentioned a moment ago, which is that uh, when you are editing actions. So I'll click on the actions tab and I'm just going to randomly pick one here. So just randomly selecting this one here. When you're editing an action, let's edit the action. If you go to the scripting tab and are editing your action code, again, this is JavaScript code. When you edit an action over here on the left side, once again, we see the API Explorer. So again, that's two places where we've seen the API Explorer. But let me go back to our slide here and tell you my favorite place to go to look at the API Explorer. Those first two are useful, but I personally find going to the main screen and selecting Tools API Explorer to be the most useful place to go for the API Explorer. All three are equivalent, but I personally prefer the third. So let's go take a look. So uh, I'm going to once again exit out of here. And if you would, imagine I just logged into VRealize Orchestrator. So when you first log into VRise Orchestrator, you're in the run view and it looks like this. And in that view or any other view, up at the top, there's this tools drop down menu. And one of the choices in there is API Explorer. Whenever I start the, the VRO client, this is the first thing I always do. I start up the API Explorer by going to tools, API Explorer. And as you can see, it displays the API Explorer. But unlike the previous two versions of the API Explorer, I can make this one bigger. I can scoot it around. Let me make it bigger. Um, I can. I have a lot more screen real estate here to do the things I'm going to show you uh, in the next video, where I'll show you how to actually use the API Explorer. So again, this video is just a quick introduction. Uh, you now know what the API Explorer is. It documents objects, their properties, methods, and actions. And additionally, you know three different places to go to find the API Explorer. But join me in the next video and I'll show you how to use the API Explorer.